A lot of people, including myself, are very worried about inflation right now, particularly in the US. But what might be a more immediate problem is inflation's nasty little sidekick, shrinkflation. Companies, particularly those in the fast-moving consumer goods space, will reduce the size of their products slowly but surely over time while maintaining the same price. A 10-pack of instant ramen for $2 becomes an 8-pack and then a 6-pack and then a 5-pack, all for the same $2. Now companies don't actually make much more money by doing this because the cost to produce the final product in these markets tends to be very small. The difference between a 5-pack and a 10-pack of ramen will only be a few cents of manufacturing. But what it does allow the company to do is reintroduce that same 10-pack of ramen a few months later, slap a family-sized sticker on it and call the new $3 price tag a bargain without anybody noticing it's not really a dollar off, it's 50% more than what we were paying just a few months ago. 